హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు నో బుక్ స్కూల్ ఆల్ ది వరీస్ ఫెయిల్యూర్స్ డిసప్పాయింట్మెంట్స్ యాగనీస్ అండ్ కాన్ఫ్లిక్స్ దట్ వీ ఫేస్ ఇన్ అవర్ రిలేషన్షిప్స్ ఆర్ బికాస్ వీ డిడ్ నాట్ మేక్ ఆర్ నాట్ మేకింగ్ ది రైట్ చాయిసెస్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ డైవింగ్ ఇన్ టు ఎ టాపిక్ దట్ హోల్డ్స్ ఇమెన్స్ సిగ్నిఫికెన్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్స్ క్వాలిటీస్ టు లుక్ ఫర్ ఇన్ ఎ పార్ట్నర్ ఆర్ ఎ ఫ్రెండ్ before you get into a relationship drawing insights from the teachings of Torkam Saradarian a profound teacher of ageless wisdom whether you are on the brink of committing in a relationship or simply curious about building meaningful connections these 14 qualities are crucial considerations to progress on the path of spiritual development and to lead a joyful lasting relationship look for these 14 measures that are essential in choosing a correct partner so let's jump right in and explore what makes a strong foundation for a lasting and fulfilling relationship first look in the heart of your spouse see if he has love for all beings this is fundamental if he hates people or any animal plant or innocent life form there is a defect in his consciousness and in the future you will have trouble with him you want him to love you but if he does not have inclusive love it means that he is not a wholesome person he has cleavages in his consciousness that one day will affect your relationship most of the problems in our home are based on sectarian love i love you but i hate her and them such words are a sign that one day you can be one of those whom he hates love is not partial partial love does not exist love must be all inclusive if someone loves with inclusiveness then he can love you too if he loves you but he has no love for others later he will hate you too inclusiveness and synthesis are signs of inner health psychological health one does not need to be an encyclopedia to be inclusive inclusiveness and the sense of synthesis can be practiced and learned in our daily life if a spouse is psychologically ill which means being separative you cannot live with him or her very long he has a wound and eventually you will aggravate it and cause trouble for yourself the second quality look into the heart of your partner to see if he has compassion compassion is an ability to look at problems from both sides with equal interest detachment and the intense desire to help both sides compassion is not emotional love but an inclusive interest in understanding both sides of any problem or event compassion not only understands but also enlightens and leads to the highest interests of the people concerned compassion can be seen in the hearts of people when they demonstrate a deep understanding without condemnation and with sincerity and love people need compassionate individuals around them it is among such people that one can grow and unfold those who are compassionate know that a person is higher than his needs but they never tolerate violence or criminal acts once i was on a mountain with a couple who were engaged to be married while we were sitting under the trees a small deer passed by the man had a revolver with him and killed the deer with it the young woman looked at her fiance with grief and said you will never see my face again she ran down the hill to her car as the man was busy with the deer i ran after her and asked are you serious 
Yes, I am. He has no compassion, no love. I couldn't stay with him, knowing he killed that beautiful animal. She drove away, and I never saw her with that man again. I knew two women who used to love the same man. One of them was very attached to him. The other was also deeply in love with him. But she was controlled and solemn. A day came when he could not decide which of the two women to marry. The second woman, seeing his anxiety and the love of the first woman, called him and said, "I want you to marry her. She loves you. I too love you, but one of us must sacrifice, and I want to be that one. But I always love you forever as a friend." Compassion does not think in outmoded emotions but acts in nobility and heroism. The third quality you must look in the heart of your partner to see if there exists the spark of gratitude. Ungrateful, unappreciative people are heavy loads on our backs. One cannot do creative work with such people. one cannot proceed on the path of his evolution if he is tied to one who has no gratitude in his heart ingratitude is a bad wound in the psyche of a man ingratitude manifests in little ordinary things and you can see it but you may not consider it the dangerous viper that it is See if your partner expresses gratitude when you offer tea, a cup of water, a gift, an expression of love. If not, he is living in his ego and he will take anything for granted. Gratitude shows that the nerves of a person's soul are healthy. Fourth, the next sign you must look for in the heart of your partner is forgiveness if your partner always speaks about how you hurt him in the past and cannot let it go eventually he will be loaded with so many memories of hurt that he will be incapable of loving you or of having right relations with you the life of true friendship is a life of forgiving remembrance of faults failures and mistakes makes unity impossible beware of people who cannot forgive people are desperately sick if they cannot forgive an unforgiving person will continuously bring and scatter poison in your home and in your children forgiveness is a sign that a person's spiritual heart is healthy forgiveness releases tension and gives continuous opportunity to grow but forgiveness is not foolishness a forgiven person is also intelligent enough to make a dangerous person realize that he cannot walk away without changing his heart a forgiving person puts a dangerous person under heavy discipline knowing that one cannot transform people by dwelling on their faults but by helping them to grow the fifth quality to look for is responsibility and trust without a sense of responsibility and trust friendship cannot last a person must show a sense of responsibility for life as a whole for humanity for a group for a family and children if he wants to have permanent friends and joy in life an indifferent person who is totally involved with himself cannot be depended upon as a friend such people use you and drain you and one day they dump you children born to responsible parents reach high positions in society but the children of those who never heard about the sense of responsibility cannot raise themselves any higher than the average human being 
The sense of responsibility cannot survive without trust. You cannot trust a person if he has no sense of responsibility. If there is no trust, you do not have a foundation and you cannot build your future without a foundation. Trust brings out the best qualities latent in you. When you trust, you dedicate and sacrifice yourself. When you cannot trust, you cannot make commitments and friendship continues only if there is mutual commitment. The sixth quality Look in your partner's heart for the spirit of optimism. Optimistic people have the faith and awareness that life works for good and that the victory of beauty, goodness, righteousness, joy and freedom is in the process of manifestation. Once a young woman and a good-looking man wanted to marry. The woman said He is very beautiful but he has one little bad trait he sees the dark sides of situations he emphasizes the ugly qualities and thinks that life is chaos and there is no hope for this generation but i like him and he is handsome well i said it is good that you like him but pessimistic people must be handled very carefully she married him then 3 months later she came to me and said he is always depressed every move i make is not good or is dangerous i do not know what i can do eventually she divorced him but she found another man exactly like him she did not learn her lesson and became like him eventually she filled her home with fear and depression choose those who see things as they really are but who also have hope and a vision of the future an optimist person is not a fool but one who sees hidden opportunities for betterment and for future success through his creative imagination he changes cloudy days into days of joy through his thoughts a pessimist pollutes the atmosphere and the joy of life through his thoughts an optimist brings new sunshine and new rain for the fields of blossom choose your partner from those whose faces are sunny from those who smile and from those who think of the future from those who have faith and hope the seventh quality is to look for joy your partner should be a person who is happy and joyful someone whom even small things can make happy people do not always want to be happy there are people who are always unhappy and want to remain unhappy and make others unhappy children from such families live in pessimism and fear you do not need such an unhappy partner there are also happy fools for whom all is fantastic these people are caught in unreality real happiness is the ability to appreciate the beauty of life nature and people and to be grateful and harmonious a happy partner is a source of energy health and enthusiasm joy is deeper than happiness joy is not only physical but includes aesthetic realms as well a person can be in intense joy reading a poem looking at a painting listening to music or touching an idea such a joyful person brings light to his family and children and spreads beauty all around a joyful person appreciates your labor your gift and your help you can live with such a person there are homes that have everything you can imagine except joy joy is the life energy of a marriage and of a family joy supports health 
prosperity success and achievement the eighth quality is to look for enthusiasm this is so important for you your partner and your children unless there is enthusiasm at home everything will be dull boring and depressing enthusiasm causes creativity joy and cooperation enthusiasm helps things be done joyfully and thoroughly with love and blessings enthusiasm carries energy and energizes not only your body but your heart and mind as well enthusiasm is energy which is transmitted to human beings from higher sources when the communication line is broken between these beings and man enthusiasm evaporates and the person does things mechanically you do not need a person who has no enthusiasm the ninth quality to look for is striving striving is running water it brings health and happiness lack of striving leads you towards stagnation striving brings in new ideas makes higher contacts and creates more beauty steady unfoldment of spirit is what we call striving a striving spirit wants to do something new to be something new and to know something new in our friendship our progress slows down or stops when there is no striving try to make your creativity a higher quality make your life more inspiring for the people around you every day try to raise the level of your being knowing and serving those who do not strive become like people who stop on the journey and you are forced to carry them on your back the 10th qualification is the sense of righteousness or the sense of justice there will be no bright future for a family if there is no sense of justice in that family once some friends and i were going on a picnic and we stopped at an and we stopped at an outdoor market to buy food for lunch one couple with us went to a watermelon stand and after they bought a watermelon we all began to walk to the picnic grounds the young man who had bought the watermelon turned to his girlfriend and said look honey i gave the man 5 dollars and he gave me back 46 dollars don't you think i'm a lucky man he tried to hug her but to his surprise she pushed him away a few seconds later she said go give it back are you kidding asked the man i won't the young woman walked away and never came back to that man the sense of righteousness makes you strong magnetic and charming if you do not have the sense of righteousness or justice you repel people and cause them suffering many families are destroyed because either the husband or the wife is unjust sometimes unrighteousness is a serious sickness that obsesses people and makes them the cause of the sufferings of others unrighteousness is a direct offense against the law of karma which then organizes heavy disciplines for such people to cure them from the sickness of unrighteousness people think that obedience to the laws of state is the measure of righteousness or justice unfortunately it is not justice is related to the heart and reason alone cannot penetrate its depth the 11th qualification to look for is the spirit of cooperation see if you can find such a spirit in your partner a cooperative spirit is a sign that the future will be joyful and successful without cooperation people cannot stand in unity cooperation unites them fuses them into each other cultivates their talents 
and helps the economy of the home before you choose a friend or spouse see if he or she has the spirit of cooperation the 12th qualification to look for in the heart of your partner is tolerance tolerant people respect the ideas dreams visions beliefs religious or political attitudes of others and they try to learn something from these differing points of view fantasism is the opposite of tolerance if a person does not have the spirit of tolerance the spouse and children will not be happy and will not grow and be free the ancients used to say that absence of tolerance is slavery the first step to develop tolerance is to make an effort to understand the different viewpoints of others tolerant people can expand their consciousness and cooperate with various diverse people for the common good future victories can be achieved not by fantasism but by tolerance a tolerant person does not emphasize your errors and failures though he tries to help you improve yourself such a person knows that on his own level he himself is not perfect a tolerant person does not encourage other people's weaknesses but with loving understanding helps others to overcome them the 13th quality is look in the heart of your partner to see if he is inclusive in consciousness and has the sense of synthesis an inclusive person does not hate any cultural value but makes his own honey from all diverse expressions of culture people always have the right to reject certain religions cultures and educational beliefs but inclusive people consciously find the common denominators that relate the various religions cultural educational and even scientific expressions they make evaluations but do not have preconditioned viewpoints you need a partner who is tolerant who does not have fixed ideas about things and who is open and discriminative to all new ideas and viewpoints an intolerant person will be a burden on your shoulders any time you take progressive steps the 14th quality is look in the heart of your partner to see if there is a permanent love of beauty those who really love beauty are advanced people and their companionship is a great joy if your partner is ugly on his or her thoughts if he acts in ugly ways if his words and expressions are ugly he will cost you a fortune love of beauty brings success and happiness to our homes and creates right human relations love of beauty is a sign that one has a refined heart and a refined consciousness a consciousness that is harmonious within itself love for beauty should be unconditional you must love the beautiful culture or art of your enemy you must see beauty everywhere a person who loves beauty can see beauty in his spouse and others and he adores their beauty and the cause of the beauty the increase of and the appreciation of beautify can create a new and higher consciousness in humanity without beauty people turn into animals some people not only lack a sense of beauty but they also hate beauty in any form they see beauty as threat to their interests and their existence one cannot live with a person who does not love beauty if one does not love beauty he develops jealousy when he meets beauty in any form jealousy is absence of beauty in the heart people must look in their hearts for the source of beauty if a person loves beauty in nature in the arts in man 
he can be a good partner but if he hates beauty and lives in ugliness it is better you postpone your friendship until the sense of beauty unfolds in his heart these 14 qualities offer great hope for friendship through these qualities friendship flourishes and turns into a companionship dedicated to high ideals when you buy a tree you want the tree to grow and bright and bring fruit leaves and beauty to your environment when you marry or enter a partnership you want that partner to bring beauty and joy to the union people are often afraid of the idea of progressiveness or of improvement and striving towards perfection they like to remain within their old swamps and jungles in their old habits and old states of beings but without progress and striving toward perfection life decays and degenerates if you like this video please like share and subscribe until next time may you all have lasting and a joyful relationship